Hi everyone and welcome to the Switch Automation webinar. Today I'll be covering the Switch Automation platform from all of our products, how we integrate smart building technology into the Switch platform, giving you actionable insight to the data that's coming from your buildings. Once the gateway is installed on the network, we're actually able to run an application locally on the gateway that will scan for the network health, how ready is your building to be connected to a platform like Switch, versions of firmware that you may have in the hardware that's been installed, and any potential vulnerabilities that may be exposed on, on your network. More and more commonly today, the operations team need to have some understanding of what's going on to their networks from an IP standpoint, um, with cybersecurity being very much front and center of people's responsibility today. Next up is our smart building readiness to understand what devices are immediately ready and we're able to give you immediately a compatibility of is your building ready to be connected. So once you've got this, you've got this forever. This is going to always run and be on the network. So we are able to, able to understand when things go offline, when things come online and obviously this firmware version. Performance benchmarking is really where we start to benchmark the buildings against their other peers. But we're actually, once we've done this process, we're able to out of the box create generic key performance indicators or KPIs. So in this case, we've got standard ones, which is energy, comfort, and then maintenance KPIs. Now these are the three basic ones. They're not by no means um, the end we can have uh, KPIs that relate to refrigeration. We can have ones for indoor air quality and so on. So these are just an example of KPIs that we've built um, for performance benchmarking. From here, I'm able to look at my, you know, alerts that I can see here that are affecting my KPI score. But in this case, I'm actually going to jump into site analysis to give me a little bit more understanding of when this alert triggered, what else was going on with this air handler unit. Coming back to our overview page, this is where we now kick into the performance optimization of the switch platform. Once we introduce performance optimization, we're actually really now giving you know, actionable accountability in the switch platform. I can actually come into here now, create an event ticket, an event identification is, is applied. We can actually see it by event name, by the site, by what status is it, what category is it, right the way through to opportunity cost savings as well. So if we know exactly what it's going to take to fix this or in, in the impacts, if we do not fix this, we're able to show that here and report out on this. So once we've captured all of those events for you know the entire portfolio that we might be connected to, we're able to actually then report on each one of those pieces um, of information from there. So we can actually then see and really understand how your smart building program is going within your portfolio. Clicking through here, here's a smart building program impacts report, leveraging all the data that we've collected. We've normalized all the data. So you're able to then bring in this level of reporting over the top of all of the information that we've captured from all the subsystems ensuring that your operations teams are armed with all the information in real time. And then finally, I want to circle back a little bit because enterprise IOT is really the, you know, everything the switch platform has to offer. The big difference in this case is where we actually have control. So we're able to control pieces of hardware from the get go. So from day one, we're able to, you know, interface with, pieces of equipment from control. And within this user interface, we're able to affect temperatures, fan speeds, chilled water valves, and whatever that might be that's underlying. We also have scheduling. So you can schedule pieces of equipment to run. Um, for, so that could be lighting commands, it could be you know air conditioner units and so on. And that's the enterprise IoT piece of the switch platform, really closing the loop on all types of connectivity. So coming back to the overview page, that wraps up our summary of the Switch platform, a really light introduction to the platform and its capabilities. I thank you for listening and look forward to having you on the next webinar.